It's almost 6.30. You're watching East Midlands Today. Tonight, a coroner says a gross failure by doctors contributed to the death of a Derbyshire teenager. A very good evening and welcome to Friday's programme with Emily Anderson and me, Dominic Keel. Good evening. First tonight, a coroner has ruled gross failure contributed to the death of a teenager. Daniel Elton, who was 18, developed a rare heart infection linked to having a tooth taken out. He died from it seven months later, after an entire summer of feeling unwell. Our health correspondent Rob Sissons has been at this week's inquest in Derby. Uh, Rob, his heart. Rob, what lessons have been learnt from this case? Next, the chairman of the collapsed Derby-based 3A apprenticeship company has described the way that £2 million of public funds were suddenly pulled from the firm as scandalous. It's the first time the company's commented publicly. Tonight, though, the Department for Education has told us it had to take action after uncovering serious wrongdoing. Well, Mike O'Sullivan's been following the story for more than a week. OK, uh, Mike O'Sullivan, thank you. Well, you're watching East Midlands today and the Friday night sport has gone to the rugby. The child abuse inquiry has heard that social workers dismissed concerns about a Mansfield foster father who was eventually jailed for life for a catalogue of sex crimes. Patrick Gallagher was arrested four years later. He admitted abusing 16 boys. Well, our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball is following the inquiry in London. Jeremy, uh, how was Gallagher caught eventually? Well, Emily... Well, next tonight, a block of flats in Leicester where there's been a number of suspected arson attacks has been targeted again. It's in fact the ninth fire to have been started at the Zenith building. Police have made an arrest, but residents say they're not reassured. Quentin Rayner reports. After one of the hottest summers on record, the potato industry is feeling the impact with what some Leicestershire farmers say is their worst ever harvest. Well, a long, hard winter followed by the unprecedented dry spell has left producers across the region counting the cost. As Amy Payne reports. Well, next tonight, Twycross Zoo in Leicestershire has welcomed more than 70 new animals. But they're not perhaps what you'd expect. Almost 900,000 Lego bricks have been used to build 27 different species. The animal sculptures have a combined weight of more than five tonnes, which of course is the equivalent of seven full-sized female giraffes. We sent Carol Hines to explore the Great Brick Safari. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? Tis, I love Lego, tis. but I just don't have the patience. Nor me. No. Not the lemurs, though. <laughs> Still to come this evening, settle down for a settled weekend. Anna's standing by with the weather forecast. OK, it's time for sport now. And you, as you may have seen earlier, we are out and about for one of those very special European rugby nights. Colin is at Welford Road. There he is. Well, there's something. A new virtual reality gaming centre opened in Nottingham today. Meet Space VR, based in the Victoria Centre, is described as the first of its kind in the UK. Now, Navtej Johal's report does contain some violent footage, but don't worry, no real zombies were harmed in the making of this film. Oh, it's a bit scary, isn't it? Poor Nav. Uh, yes, he was a little bit, uh, a little bit frightened. But then I think I'm easily scared. I'd be a nightmare in there. So I hear. Mm. It's time now for the weather. Here's Anna. <laughs> Thank you. And we've really been spoilt with the weather over the last few days and we will continue to see plenty of autumn sunshine throughout Saturday. We've had some great weather watcher photos sent in. It looks great, that sun up against all the golden colours at the moment. So thank you to our trio of weather watchers, bbc.co.uk forward slash weather watchers if you'd like to send us some of your photos. So over the weekend, it is more of the same really, particularly on Saturday, another dry, fine and sunny day, perhaps some patchy fog around first thing. Sunday should be dry, mostly through the day, with a little bit of rain potentially in the evening and cloudy and warm is the theme on Sunday and it's all down to lovely high pressure staying in charge at the moment and giving us that southwesterly airflow so quite warm temperatures expected across the weekend. As we go through the rest of the evening then there's a few bits of cloud around here and there but mostly clear skies expected through the night. We've got light winds and with that temperatures are dropping away we're expecting minimums of five degrees tonight that's your towns and cities temperature but also some fog is expected to form. Now where we do have it it is likely to be quite dense and will take its time to clear Saturday morning. However 
once it does clear, it leaves us with lots of sunshine through the morning, perhaps a little bit of cloud here and there through the afternoon, but long sunny breaks. In that sunshine, highs of 16 degrees, that's three degrees higher than you'd expect for the time of the year, so a great temperature for October. Sunday, fog and this first thing but then clouding over in the afternoon the potential again for a few spots of drizzle later on in the day but it should be dry for most of it and highs of 16 or 17 maybe thank you it's coming at that time of year isn't it a frog and frost that classic sort of <laughs> <laughs> weather slip up thing oh dear you're planning anything nice this weekend yes i'm going to the football tomorrow so i'm glad it's going to be nice and watching warm. forest good for oh, you no. have a great weekend bye-bye see you then come and join us okay.